so hello guys what's up and welcome back to my youtube channel it's me your girl barista neze and this is neze peperempe <laughs> so in today's video i'm going to be telling you guys all you need to pack in your hand luggage stroke carry-on bag when you're traveling or when you are relocating if you're seeing my face for the first time hello my name is barista chineze and my family and i just relocated to canada so the experience is still fresh i'm here to reveal to you everything that helped us whether you're traveling as a single person or as a parent i'm going to be telling you everything that you need so internalize this and send this to everybody that you believe will need it so typically when you are traveling out of nigeria abroad you are entitled to two 23 kg bags not one 46 kg two different 23 kg bags you are entitled to an 8 kg hand luggage and a carry-on bag all right so that's two big bags that will be checked in one carry-on bag that you can roll into the plane with you and one knapsack or school bag where you can put your electronics and other important stuff so even before packing let me mention a few very important tips that you must keep very close to your chest and your mind even before you buy your carry-on bag first thing is see when you're traveling when you hear 23 kg 8 kg this kg you might say oh i have enough space i have enough to take everything that i have but trust me when you start packing you then realize that you do not even have enough you start dropping things and dropping things and will be tied you are not one of the people like us that cargo you find out that you drop almost everything back okay so the first important thing that you must take note of is that you must buy a lightweight hand luggage your carry-on luggage itself must be lightweight there are some that are very very heavy that even before you start to put your stuff inside 3 kg 4 kg sometimes even 5 kg has already been consumed so you can then imagine what would then be the content of the bag when the bag itself is already taken up to 4 kg so your mobile skill is your friend do you know what your mobile skill is because you need it in every packing process okay so get yourself that mobile skill i'm going to leave the picture somewhere here it's not expensive it is very crucial when you are going to shop for your hand luggage go with that skill so you can scale the bag and know the weight even before you buy it secondly your carry-on bag must be rollable <laughs> it should have tires guys you are going to be walking from pillar to post post to pillar navdac to customs customs to immigration immigration so do not buy a bag that you have to hang on your shoulder the stress will be much for you always buy a bag a carry-on bag that you can actually pull that has wheels they call them carry-on no me say you go carry up all <laughs> it has to be rollable third tip i would advise is for you to mark your carry-on bag and when i say mark it i mean like put something that maybe a sticker or anything that would distinguish it from others because you never can tell you might enter a plane or sit next to someone that has a bag that is similar to yours or someone can even mistakenly carry your bag but when you have that sticker on my mother or was it my mother-in-law she used a um, piece of clothes african fabric and tied in fact we were looking like Uma Dibia. <laughs> we were looking like children of dibias because the tight ankara my mother and brought my brother in law tied ankara all over my bags so it was so funny so but if you don't want to be like desert if you want to do it the tush and prim way please go and look for a fancy sticker and put on your bags in fact all the bags will not just your carry-on bag so when you see that stuff that you identified your bag with even if it's from afar or you see somebody holding it or something you know that this is your bag all right so mark the bag and lastly if you guys are many <laughs> if you guys are plenty like us please check in some of the carry-on bags if not <laughs> you go suffer so we're a family of six and everybody is entitled to a carry-on bag that's six bags and everybody's entitled to a knapsack and because we had so much all my children had a bag that they were carrying just to save weight and 
everybody to also had their carry-on bag so when we got to the airport where we we're supposed to check in they checked in the major bags the 23 kg bags and they told us that for the hand luggage we had to go with them and we're like you guys sent us an email lufthansa lufthansa you are looking for my trouble you guys sent us an email that we can check in our carry-on bag they were like oh forget that email that's just the bulk email that goes out we don't observe that all of you all six of you have to pull six carry-on bags and now knapsacks oh god we had to pilot the lady i had to call her side i'm like sweetheart please oh see i have a new baby i'm pushing stroller i'm carrying school bag these children are small they can't push their carry-on bag please check it in so the lady just you know out of her discretion because they had already insisted that they will not but out of her discretion she then checked it in during the trip <laughs> we didn't realize what we would have gone through if we didn't check in those um carry-on bags we had to roll six oh god would have really gone through hell because even with the few that we had plus neck pillows different things that we're carrying were already overwhelmed with load so if you can please check in some of the carry-on bags but if you're just traveling as a single person of course you have one carry-on bag there's no need to check it in all right so having said all of that let me tell you what you need to pack in your carry-on bag to have a comfortable and happy trip let us go the first thing that should be in your carry-on bag or maybe your handbag but you should carry along with you are your travel documents your international passports should be handy if you're coming as a permanent resident your copr your confirmation of permanent residency should be handy if you're coming as a student your valid letter of acceptance your port of entry letter of introduction your electronic travel authorization all these documents should be in your handbag or your carry-on bag if there's anything that needs printing print it if there's anything that needs photocopying photocopy if there's anything that needs to be shown on the phone please open a folder you know you see it needs to be very organized when you're organized you avoid tension right now you're at the airport you're already sweating people are checking in airport staff are giving you headache your flight is about to you're just hyped and tense right you do not want to add extra pressure to yourself so what i did was i opened a folder in my gallery and named it canada documents so international passports every document that has to do with canada are in that folder whenever my husband asks me baby please can i get our copr where is the bag where did we keep it i'll just go to that file send it to him he'll be like oh god what will i ever do without you <laughs> I'll be like, mm -hmm. <laughs> so have these things in one folder. It's not when the acts of it, you start scrolling. Wah, 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 wah. Where did I this? Where did I see this? Wah, wah. Mm -mm. Just keep them in one folder. Even now that I'm in Canada, there's another folder on my phone I opened as Canada to know. So if I get any information on where to get the best winter jacket, where to get the best Nigerian food, where to, I'll just screenshot it and move it to that Canada to know. So when I need any information about anything, healthcare, school, I'll just go to that my information folder and read. It will help you. So have all these things organized because it's not all the staff that will be patient with you. They have thousands of people to attend to every day. So they're not about to spend their time waiting for you. Have your things handy so immediately the acts of it are like producing it instant. Another set of documents, apart from the travel documents, that I would advise for you to put in your carry-on bag are all the originals of your certificates. The people that have traveled and somehow, somehow, their luggage got missing or vandalized or didn't get to them, one story or the other so to avoid stories that touch those your original degrees your original wire results and all those things please keep them by the side of your hand luggage do not check it in that's my advice i didn't check mine in carry them where you can be seeing them kuru kuru to avoid had i known the next thing that you should put in your bag are some stationaries okay so just get about two or three biros we don't even need up to three just get about one or two biros and keep in your bag at an accessible spot where you can easily grab it because there are times that you might need to fill a form um i know that i know that i filled a couple of forms several forms that you need to fill there was this form about cash declaration where you have to fill the amount of money you are coming in with there was another one about exit from nigeria form so there are different forms that you might need to fill so you don't want to go around and start begging for buyer at the airport everybody is busy nobody has time so just be self-sufficient Keep your biro in your bag. Stationery is very important. The next thing that you should pack in your carry-on bag are tick 
clothings thick clothings very important and when i say thick clothings i mean like sweaters sweaters so for my children they had a sweater on and they had one tied on their waist <laughs> if I, I was trying to minimize space i was trying to save space and i was like oh if i check the sweaters in it will exceed like 23 kg so i called all of them oh yeah everybody tutu sweaters grab tutu sweaters they were like oh mommy 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 but when they enter the plane oh my god the plane can be very very cold especially the plane from germany to canada it can be very very cold like very very cold and even if you put off your vent the vent from every other person will be hitting you so the plane gets very cold when we're in the plane they began to appreciate those double sweaters that i gave them if you do not have space in your carry-on bag you can just tie the extra sweater on your waist but if you have space you can pack it in your carry-on luggage so when it gets cold in the plane you can bring it out and wear okay you can also pack thick socks you're not going to wear shoes for 18 hours of flight you have to pull your shoes and be comfortable and since the plane is cold those very thick socks would help your feet from freezing so you can pack extra thick socks for traveling i would advise if you want to be very comfortable i would advise like free wears hoodies and joggers i would not typically advise tight tops and jeans because you can imagine being in transit for two days wearing something tight for me i won't be comfortable so i wore joggers and hoodies so that's my preferred way of dressing just in case you want to know for dressing for very long trips right so the next thing that you should pack in your carry-on luggage are neck pillows that stuff is not is a, is a good investment it's not a waste of money that stuff saved us a lot i don't know whether you guys know what i'm talking about but i will leave the picture here as well so those neck pillows it's a long flight you will sleep no matter how much you try to form superman at one point or the other Charlie, if you're coming to canada you might find yourself dozing off okay and you do not want to start inconveniencing the next person or nodding like a gamma lizard <laughs> next thing again <laughs> you don't want that <laughs> So that is what those neck pillows are for and we got for every member of the family and god that thing really helped us so you just put it on your and you can lay on it lean on it um slightly and have a good sleep without you know without much inconvenience so neck pillows are a must have especially when you are traveling out of the country and the good thing is that it doesn't spoil it. so when you buy it you can always keep it at home whenever you have any other trip you can pull it out and make use of it so i advise you get neck pillows and do not forget and check it in keep it in your hand luggage stroke carry-on bag so the next thing that should be in your carry-on bag is food and snacks food and snacks very important there has always been this debate on cooked food and raw food and frozen food and all of that i came with all the above okay but if you are coming in with frozen food you have to you have to put it in a clippable plate those plates that can clip that don't open easily wrap it in bubble wrap put them in a thermal bag fold them well and check them in frozen foods should be checked in not bothered with but fresh cooked food can be bothered with i don't think there's any law that prohibits people from coming into the plane with their food the whole checks and everything they saw my food i came with jello fries <laughs> i came with chicken i came with plantain because i have plenty of children and <laughs> it's not easy keeping a child on a spot for 12 hours 18 hours 15 hours they get cranky they get hungry easily they get bored so you must pack enough airy mary chop 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 one chop two for you to be distracting them and engaging them with if not uh, they'll just be fed up so we came with plenty of snacks and food and please don't come with um snacks that can easily make their stomach start putting like all those chocolatey chocolatey things no you got you got things come with things like bread and butter some biscuits like crackers digestive hobnobs not too sugary that can just make them to start purging or make their stomach to start turning all right so we bothered food my jello fries my plantain it really helped even from nigeria we had started eating this when we go to the airport because of course you have to get to the airport very early so we spent like three like four hours or five i think we go to the airports was in around three, four and we took off around eight so we had already spent a lot of time in nigeria and the children were hungry so they ate part of the jello fries in nigeria 
in the plane mommy i'm hungry mommy i'm hungry we also bought snacks thank you donuts and meat pie scotch egg sausages so mommy i'm hungry i'll give them something mommy this 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 just to keep them you know active and busy then the food that will be served to you from nigeria to frankfurt is edible you would enjoy it because it was made in nigeria right but when you get to frankfurt the food that will be served to you from germany to where you're going to hmm, oh my god <laughs> let me not talk down on other countries food before they said this uh, your food this that 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 my dear you might not be able to eat it you will not like it i've not seen anybody that had a good experience eating that food that will be served to you from germany so from germany even when we we're waiting because when we got to germany before the next flight to canada if we had an eight hour wait even more than eight hours we were at the airport so they were hungry what would they eat at germany airport there was actually nothing so it was that jollof rice that everybody ate again at the airport so it is very important to come with food especially if you have children come with snacks come with biscuits come with things that you can be sustaining yourself with until you enter your house or your airbnb at your destination the next thing that you should put in your carry-on bag are some medications some first aid medications I don't know how your trip would be it's my prayer that it's smooth and easy but it's not always guaranteed that it will be smooth and easy sometimes a one day scheduled trip can take you up to three days especially if you fall into the hands of the wrong airlines or maybe you had delays due to weather or, or other unforeseen contingencies you might have a stretched trip and because of the whole stress you see yourself sleeping on a chair all night or sleeping on the floor you know just being uneasy unsettled you might start to develop a headache you don't know how your body will react to that stress so it's always good for you to keep some light medication in your carry-on luggage for us we had paracetamol we had imodium and flagyl and it really came in handy because there was a time that somebody ate something that their stomach reacted to and their stomach started turning they started purging in the plane i quickly pulled out my first aid <laughs> and administered some dose and the person drank and slept and the person was fine so put such things in your bag if you are a lady crossing the red sea and you usually have pains when you are leaving nigeria you might not have pains you know how this thing is but you might just board the plane and the pain will just be so unbearable so you need to have your felvin or boscopan or ibuprofen whatever you take that relieves you keep it handy in your bag if you're the type that gets cold easily you can have your rub or you can have for babies you can have silver bird very lovely it's like rub but it's not harsh you just rub silver bird on the baby's side give the baby to inhale it will come in handy you can also have um strep seals if your throat gets sore when it's dry you can keep some strep seals in your bag and keep some vix inhaler for those that their nose easily gets blocked so i had all this little little first aid in my carry-on bag and they came in very handy for me the next thing that you have to pack i've even lost counts but i know the whole point is about 10 or 11 so i think i'm on number six now so the next thing or seven so the next thing you need to pack is your hairbrush or comb and your hair packer so many of us many of we nigerian ladies we like to braid our hair when we are traveling if you braided your hair please come with a hair packer because when you are in the plane what will be most important to you is comfort how to get the best position to relax your neck for that very long trip so you need a hair packer where you can pack your hair maybe you came to the airport with your hair flying and you know going down your back when you board and you are sitting in the plane you have to pack your hair so you need a hair packer but if you're traveling with um with a wig then you need a hairbrush because by the time you come down from the plane on your first drop you're going to look like someone that's just fought world war three because you've been sleeping you've been rough you've been you know everywhere so you need your hairbrush and stuff to put yourself together before you know alighting and going to process your next flight me i don't even recommend makeup if you are traveling because for me the trip is just so stressful and i don't think it's the best time for you to start doing selling say this is like everybody's on the move walking fast blah, blah, blah. so i don't even recommend makeup i didn't even wear one single i didn't even wear earring i don't even think i wore <laughs> earring i can't remember but it won't be good for your makeup to be smeared and all of that so i me, i don't recommend wearing makeup just keep your hairbrush or hair packer but 
can't really say because I am a mama madu, I am married. So if you are young CC, airport is also a very good place to find the love of your life. So if you still want to look cream and chic and take away, please oh, don't say Neze derived you of finding your Mr. Right at the airport. Make up and look sweet, okay? All right. So let's go to the next point. The next items that need to be in your carry-on bag, not your check-in bag, are your chargers, your power bank, your earpiece stroke headset. Okay? Yes, I know that we would have charged our phones to the fullest before embarking on the trip. But guys, the trip is long. Your phone will run out of battery. So you need a charger and a power bank. In fact, when I was buying, this is a power bank I bought, very heavy. How many this thing is this one? This was a uh, hand, look at it. 30,000 30, mAh. When I was buying this, I started asking myself, why am I buying something this quality? She, when I come here, I won't have need for it. There's always light. But it has been useful even as I came here. And sometimes that maybe my phone, one of my phones will not be charged and I need to go out. You know, I'll just take a power bank. While I'm out there, I'll just be charging my phone. You understand? It might be a place that doesn't have a charging port or you don't want to start going, you know, to start pressing people's walls you can just bring out your power bank even here in canada and charge your phone so it's a good investment don't feel bad that if you leave nigeria after the trip you won't need it again you might need it over here once in a while so i got power banks because by the time we got to frankfurt i and my husband's phones were already dead okay so your power bank is very important your chargers are important then whatever electronics whatever gadgets you need to keep yourself company please put in your carry-on bag planes come with this tablet that comes with aeroplanes but maybe you're already stuck on a series you want to watch your own thing um please come with your your stuff my children i packed their super nintendo and their mobile games in my carry-on bag and it really helped it really helped when they were tired of that airports movies they switched to their nintendo and at least it kept them down for for some time so have all these things that can distract you if you are if you have an ipad put it in your carry-on bag now apart from entertainment for security reasons in fact i will not advise anybody to check in any electronic gadgets one for security reasons they can be security breach two it's not even safe it can get broken because if you see the way these guys handle bags eh? <laughs> you would think that the bag annoyed them the way they throw it and malhandle it is very rough so anything that can break computers ipad gadgets and all of that please put in your carry-on bag and that brings us to the next point valuables now every valuable you hear the name valuable should be within your eyesight i would not advise you to check in any valuable be it cash if you're coming in with cash dollars please put it in your carry-on bag if you have gold or expensive trinkets please put them in your carry-on bag. All your expensive gadgets, your pricey ornaments, all those kinds of things, please do not check them in because we've heard a lot of stories. We've heard stories of where people's bags get vandalized. I don't know, even if you padlock the bag, they say there's a way they can open it and take what they want and close it back for you and it's not be your word against theirs because the bag is still locked, you know. So it is riskier when those things are not within your eyesight, especially when they're very expensive things. So for us, those very expensive things, we kept them in our carry-on bag. So the next set of items that you should carry or pack in your hand luggage are your toothbrush, your toothpaste, mouthwash if you want, mouth sprays, whatever to keep your breath fresh. Don't forget that you are eating on the plane all kinds of things and you are sleeping with your mouth closed and it's many hours when you wake up. <laughs> you don't want to be an inconvenience. You don't want to be the reason why the next person's day is ruined. You don't want to be the reason when you land in Germany and you go to the air hostess or you go to one of those people making announcements and you say, hello, madam, when is the next flight going off? And the woman will be like, oh God, who is this person sent from hell? You don't take mouth order and ruin another person's day, okay? So when you have a stop, maybe at Germany, you can go to the restroom. You see people there lined up brushing their teeth and freshening up. You can also shower. People shower at the airport, but we didn't. We only freshened up. So if you're the type that wants to shower, you can also pack your sponge and your soap. And of course, a towel if you intend to bathe. Now, another thing that you might need, especially when you get a stopover, is 
change of underwear your roll-ons deodorant you might need a moisturizer or lip balm extra sanitary towels if you're a lady and you're crossing the red sea you need to pack sanitary towels so you can you know freshen up and change when you have a stopover and you know just all those things that would help you freshen up you might spend two full days on the road and you might start to feel very sticky and dirty so you might want to you know freshen up you put some wipes in your bag whether you have a baby or not you might need wipes to wipe off something or clean up something and just to add if you are a creator like me please don't forget to put your cameras your batteries spare battery too and everything that you would need to film or documents if you want to film that's if you want to film and that's if you do not use your phone i use my phone to film the whole relocation stuff but if you use your camera please keep it in your check-in luggage then lastly but certainly not the least is for those that have babies now in addition to all of these aforementioned if you have a baby or babies then these essentials are very very vital please your baby stroller non-negotiable come with the baby stroller the beautiful thing is that it will not be counted as part of your weight it will not be counted as part of your 23 kg or your 8 kg the weight of the baby stroller is free they see it as a travel necessity just as your legs are there we're not going to weigh your legs right that stroller is the baby's legs so at the point when i was packing I was factoring the weight of the stroller in my general weight but I eventually found out that it is not calculated so please come with a baby stroller if you can it will really help you because carrying a baby with all those other things and roaming up and down Frankfurt Airport one stop to another can be from <laughs> Lekki to Aja ahead so trekking like that with a baby heavy baby on your body will not be easy come with that stroller then come with your hot water flax if the baby is still eating baby food baby cereal i forgot to come with my hot water flax and it gave me a lot of stress because when we're waiting at germany the baby got hungry and there was no place to get hot water now as when we had the flax before we disembarked the plane we would have told the air hostess to give us some hot water that we would use throughout our stay in germany but we didn't have any flax so we had to start going to those restaurants at the airports to start asking them for hot water and there was no room place to keep it so they were giving us in these small disposable cups after three hours we start looking for who to ask for hot water again so it was a lot of stress so please do not forget get something portable not something too bogus just a portable flax Put hot water when you're traveling before you come down from the airport tell them to refill the air hostesses will be very happy to do that all right come with plenty of diapers these children <laughs> they can poo, poo 10 times in one day you don't know what will happen sometimes you'll just change the baby and the next thing they have solved the diaper again i can't forget how many times my husband and i had to go Nay was just about seven months then i and my husband had to go to the toilet because one person needed to be holding the other person needed to be doing the changing the other person will be holding the dirty diaper it was crazy so come with enough diapers in your check-in bag i carried about 12 or 10 and we used a lot we used up to eight so it's better to have excess than not to have enough come with diaper come with wipes come with beep pack their plate and spoon pack their face towel change of clothes because they will sell their clothes some of them might throw up some of them would you know use all kinds of things to sell their clothes you might need to change their outfit some might even poop and the poop would stain the trouser so if you are carrying a baby small baby you need some change of clothes in your carry-on bag in fact what we did is that we had was it two carry-on bags the first one was for all of us like adults our uh, biscuits and everything snacks and the other one was purely baby baby food but if you're packing your baby food don't pack it with the tin because of weight and space we poured the serilac and the all her baby food inside the ziploc bag and it really helped us conserve space so of course baby had her own bag and we're always making requests to eat it was very close any small thing there's something to take you know it's very demanding taking care of a baby now there was always something to go and take bring this bring that my husband was bringing bringing standing up standing up while i was doing the whole caring it was such a trip it was such a trip 
So if your baby is the type that likes to play with toys, you can come with just one of his or her favorite toys that they can play with. Then of course, come with extra blankets. They would give you a blanket in the plane, but the blanket cannot hold anything, cannot withstand any cold. So we're so happy that we packed one very thick, you know those thick baby blankets? We packed one of them in our carry-on bag. So when baby slept, we just wrapped her with our blankets and it kept her warm because at the time the plane was so so cold and nobody's going to off the, <coughs> the air condition because of you so be prepared so if you want this is optional you can put a little local currency in your wallet we did we did it's i don't see it as they call it saraka like generous being generous you are living a country you don't even know when you will come back so if people are nice to you at the airport or they helped you, they assisted you do something, you might want to, you know, and they say, ah, have a nice new life in Canada, anything for us. If you like, you can go, they're not gonna force you. But me, I liked to give, I liked to give. So at every stop, anybody that is nice to me, smiles to me, we relate well, I will leave a tip for the person in local currency, in my local currency. But apart from leaving a tip, which is discretionary, there's some things that you need to pay with cash like wrapping our bag we use them this cello tape to wrap our bags so it's not be easily vandalized we bought what did we buy you can want to buy padlocks at the airport those people that push your bags your trolleys if you have a lot of bags you can't push it yourself so people that push your bags even renting the trolley itself you have to pay it's not like in germany where it's free you just pick one in nigeria those big trolleys that used to push your bag you have to pay for it so you need some local currency in your wallet put some money in your wallet mm -hmm. it's not like you're bribe you know but i'll call it appreciation okay when someone does their job and does it well there's nothing wrong in appreciating the person and i did lots of appreciation at the airports and my life was just moving smoothly and i traveled so you might want to put some local currency in your wallet and in your checking bag all right so guys i think that is all that you need to pack in your check-in bag if you have traveled and if there are some things that i haven't mentioned please drop in the comment section what do you think what extra things do you think that people should have in their carry-on bag to give them an easy and smooth trip let me get all your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section and if you're yet to travel i wish you a safe journey all right so guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to forward this video to everybody that needs it if you're new here or if you've been watching without subscribing don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up drop all your comments in the comment section turn on your bell notifications and stay glued because we have so much more coming your way okay it's me your girl barista neza and this is neza pepperonpe i'll see you guys in my next one for now bye